Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and to another video where I will hopefully be able to provide you with some cleaning motivation. Uh, this one it is looking like it's going to be a pretty long video, so I suggest you either sit back and enjoy with a beverage or perhaps you can pick a spot in your house where you would like to join me in cleaning. Either way, thank you for being here and let's get right into the video. we are starting off in the kitchen and I'm just doing my usual clearing and cleaning. I'm unloading the dishwasher where I had some clean dishes and then I will be washing some stuff <coughs> from the sink. Uh, but today I have a little something extra special in the kitchen portion of this video. I'm actually going to be decluttering, cleaning, and reorganizing my under sink cabinet. I had been wanting to do this for so long and I finally had some time to get this done. Um, I did buy one or two new products, I believe, that I used in here. So um, in just a few minutes here, you will see how that turned out. <laughs> subscriber thank you so much for joining me and welcome to all of those of you who are new i'm glad that you found this video i'm glad you found my channel i do hope that you will consider staying around i post videos weekly of just cleaning and organizing spaces around my house and i'd just like to take a moment to introduce myself as well um, i do have some new subscribers here my name is aza i'm a full-time working mom i work outside of the home I am married and I have two children and I do enjoy cleaning my house and so I have started posting videos hoping to provide you with some motivation to do the same. So again, thank you so much for joining me if you do enjoy my video today and if you like what you see here, I hope that you subscribe and join me as I post more videos to come.
Anderson cabinet as it was. Now I wouldn't really say that this was totally a mess. I do try to keep my spaces as organized as possible, um, but I just felt like I could do something to make better use of this space. I also knew that I had several products in there that I did not need to keep in there. And I also had been wanting to get rid of this little wire um, double rack. Uh, I've had this, I mean, for ages, I, probably over a decade, and it's not really anything special. It's a little bit flimsy. Um, the drawers are supposed to pull out, but they're the product itself is too lightweight for what I have in it to ever have pulled out. So um, I just thought that I could find something better and just make um, better organization of this space. And so I had been using it the way it turned out for a while now and it is working for me and I do very much like it so far. It took a few tries of me or pausing and figuring out what I wanted to place where and some things that I wanted to go certain places that didn't quite fit. So there was just a little moving of things until I found their final places and actually at the end I believe I moved some stuff around so the very final clip is kind of where it is at this point. But you saw I had some duplicates here and some things that just do not need to be under my sink because this is more stuff that I use on a regular basis. And any extras and any things that I don't reach for um, as frequently, I moved to a different cabinet.
about the times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that. Okay, so moving on here, I had this probe order. It actually came in a few weeks ago, and I had been saving it to. Um, open it up in a video. I sincerely have not removed anything from the box and have forgotten what I had even ordered. And as I was removing these items, I thought there's no way I could have ordered more hand soap. You guys saw one of my recent videos where I was organizing the cabinet where I keep all of my extra soaps. I mentioned in there that I was going to stop buying it and so I thought why would I have done this? But upon second look, uh, I realized that some of these actually are not hand soap and they're dish soap and they're, they were just a nuisance I wanted to try out. And then here I'm going to start moving a few things around in front of my cabinet. So I moved a few things out of this, um, I mean my drawers. I moved a few things out of this drawer and I wanted a place where I could just keep all of my rags in a drawer um, instead of this bin that I was previously storing under my sink. And so this felt like the best place to keep my kitchen rags here. Got this in a bag. table that I like to decorate from time to time. You may have seen um, several videos back I decorated for fall and I just want to add some Halloween decorations here. So just a few things. I'm not going all out for Halloween. Um, so uh, this is what I came up with and uh, it's okay. I mean, I'm sure it can be better. I don't want Halloween all over my house so I kind of just um, save that for this little space right here. And I will never know why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm on I got it, I got it So 
So that laundry that you saw me put in was just some of the bedding for my daughter's bed that I wanted to just get done for her. And then the load that I was folding of the whites, I believe they were all towels, that actually had been sitting in my living room for several days. Um, so it was past time that I got that taken care of. And so once I did that, I uh, went into cleaning the rest of the living room, just tidying up. And my coffee table was also in uh, very much need of a uh, wipe down. So I'm using this method spray and it smelled so good. I was finally able to get my hands on this. So I was excited to use this on my table and I did like how it cleans. So I was glad to have that cleaned up and then we're gonna get some vacuuming done here on this day as well. <laughs> table kind of pushed it all the way back and found clumps of dog hair underneath so it had been on my mind to do the same with my couches because I knew I was going to find a mess under there as well and as you can see here I was very much correct it was a terrible disgusting uh, I mean I vacuum you know all the time at least weekly um, but I don't as frequently push my couches and my furniture um, completely out of um, where it's sitting to get underneath of them and I can't um, and with these electric um, chairs I can't get my vacuum under them so they have to be pushed out for me to get it clean but you know I was glad to get that done as well I told you we're over. I swear that I'm sober. just listen So 
So this is now starting out on day three. I am just making my bed. I'm going to be washing my sheets. And then my room was just kind of a mess. I needed to pick stuff up and put stuff away and throw stuff in the hamper. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. And then I will be running my robot vacuum in here. I don't really like to use this robot vacuum anywhere else, but I do like and appreciate that it gets under my bed and I don't have to. So I kind of keep it here on its dock under that chair and then I run it weekly and it does all of my vacuuming here for me. We keep moving in different rhythms mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To different lines Telling lies That's how we stay alive At least we try To survive We're not the ones who hide Two different lines switching out some laundry, removing some stuff that were already dry in the hand and the dryer and then reloading the dryer and then I think I'm going to be throwing in all of my bedding into the washing machine here. And here is a load of the rags and some towels that I took out from the dryer. And then as you'll see here, I am going to organize uh, the rags back into that new drawer that I designated for them. And it's working out. I love it in there. I think it's going to be the permanent home for all of my rags. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome to friends and nearby don't now we will move on to the guest bathroom here, which is also my son's bathroom, shared bathroom. Um, so I'm just going to clean this up as I do pretty much weekly. I'm just going to spray it down and then spray down the toilet as well and start cleaning in here just like everyone does, right? Wake up, wake up, keep it steady cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up. No, no, not yet, whoa. must pass but i'm not gonna wake up wake up i'm not ready let me have another day don't wake up wake up keep it steady cause i'm happy 
decided I would just take this opportunity and start wiping that down and then that led me to start wiping down the fronts of the cabinet drawers um, the cabinet doors and anyway I'm glad that I had a chance to get this done I had the time today so um, now I know that these spaces are also clean no matter how far my mind would wander I'd always dare it to go even farther dishes to be put away more dishes to be washed um, in the sink and put in the dishwasher <laughs> so I'm just going to get this cleaned up again here on this day and then we will move on to what are we doing next let's see oh we're gonna finally wipe down my counters I had been wanting to do this um, the day before but it lost um, time um, and lost sun <laughs> natural light um, so anyway then we're gonna wipe down the counters I can feel it, I feel it oh, oh, oh.
are still here with me and have made it this far into the video, would you go ahead and leave me a cleaning sponge emoji in the comments below and I'll know that you are still here and I will let you know how much I appreciate you for sticking around till almost the end of the video. Um, thank you if you are here, um, but either way, I'm glad that you were with me today. again using my method degreaser this is kind of what i use to clean my stove all the time um, but it always does a great job so that's what i'm using here and it looks nice and shiny and almost brand new again Stay. No, you're gone in the this weekend uh, but then we will get into a recipe that I want to share with you for chicken tortilla soup I make this all the time I might have a separate video for this that I recorded a long time ago I'm not even sure uh, but anyway it's here and I'll try to link the recipe in the description below
Tell me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly can take me high I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile Friends, as I show you the Instapod, Instant Pod Chicken Tortilla Soup here, uh, we are about to round out the video. We have reached the end. I just want to take this time again to let you know how much I appreciate you for being here. I hope that you were able to stick around until the end. Um, but um, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much uh, for coming back each week. I appreciate you all. I appreciate your comments. And I will see you next week for another video. Thank you so much and take care. I don't need anybody. I don't need anybody else. No one will ever take me. No one will ever take me away from you. I promise I will hold on to you I don't know what I'd do Without you Without you You can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high Feels like I can fly